Yeah. So I'm just gonna restart the fucking game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations. Nancy Drew. Go ahead and Drew. Go around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. I'm just starting over from the Dangerous, beginning because I like really am so mad and I want a stream day, okay? that's like about me all the way through and, and I just restarted do, recording in the file called case file. Um, tell you all a secondary this file. To to so solve. if this if fucks up, I'll have that. that. Mystery, just click on the play. Pete all right, shut up. Hired me to investigate a series of equipment meltdowns that had been plaguing the prominent Oklahoma Storm Research team. <laughs> I'm already pissed Since off from a whole day of trying to get this to shit to work. The hundred million dollar grant at stake in the upcoming Green Sky Storm competition. Krollmeister. I don't know how to drive. Far more sinister than simple equipment failure going on. I'll they didn't tell me how. Cover, replacing their previous intern, Pete who wound up with a broken leg after one of the accidents stranded him directly in the path of a storm. Stepping in at the most dangerous and chaotic period of the chase season, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me to stay on top of the sabotage and the storms. We're not junior detective. You're, you're gonna watch this fucking tornado Whoa, with me. Oh my gosh! Woohoo! I want a storm chase. That's a weird piece of debris. <laughs> yeah, it was a weird tornado. <laughs> Whoa! It's filled with money. It's filled with money. Once again, amazing job. Thanks. Payment and close. I better take this and see who it belongs to. Good girl, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Sorry I missed you. We're out chasing. Please take the tornado quiz. Stack a pit, blah blah. We did this already. GPS in the car. Uh, thanks for filling in, Debbie. We're gonna ace this quiz this time. Uh, tornado warning. Oh, what was it? Was it 50 or 1000? Yeah. It's the F scale. A large room. A disaster kit. A downburst. <laughs> Five. It was one percent. Fuck. <laughs> Flying debris. Heck yeah. Agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. Nancy, is that you? Yes, that's me. That's me. Nice to meet you. Be right there. Nancy Drew, you may. Now I get to talk I'm to this Scott fucking Brown, asshole the person again. In charge of this meteorological train wreck. Welcome aboard. Did you see the tornado? What tornado? Thanks to the lousy equipment that uncle of yours stuck us with, we just spent the last hour chasing down a bunch of cumulonimbi barely capable of spawning a spring shower, let alone a tornado. Wait a minute. Did you see a tornado? 
Well, yeah. yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse, it wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. Well, isn't that just peachy? We spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. We're never going to win this thing. The school's going to pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's going to be all she wrote. And it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. But now that you're here, maybe our luck will change. You'll be reporting to Debbie, but make no mistake. I call the shots around here. In fact, two things you need to do right off the bat. I gotta give a workshop on tornado preparedness at the junior high school next week, so put a sample disaster kit together for me. If anything's missing, go up the road to Monpa's and get it there. What goes into a disaster kit? Look, you're here Look. because that rich uncle of yours said you could do the job, so be a little resourceful and just do it, okay? If you need a nanny, have your uncle send one. We don't have the budget. Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens, and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to place them so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. That tornado you just saw. What'd you think? What do you mean? Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? Actually, that tornado is the coolest thing I've ever Actually, seen. Actually, I life. want you to stop I talking to, to me so I can go now, see that's a tornado. What I to see. Wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm out of my students these days. Between you and me, the last few years I've gotten stuck with the worst students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. Before they defunded my department, I got the... Oh, he's about to get mean students to Students who really cared, like Debbie, but those days are over. That must really be disappointing. <sighs> what are you, like, 18? Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... I know you meant well. Anyway... Good news is, it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. You may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope so. Alright, let me see here. Sort of broke. Sometimes if you hit it, it'll work. It's not giving me the option to hit it.
<laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh boy. Let's frickin' make shit harder than it has to be. Nancy, hi! You've met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. You're the one who'll be giving me orders? Detective Pretty the much. Tornado. First thing every morning, drop by to see me. I'll let you know what has to be done that day. Are you still in school? I just got my doctorate in meteorology from Canute College. From the day I walked into Scott's Theories of Tornado Genesis class, I was hooked. I've been on his chase team in one capacity or another ever since. <sighs> you must be pretty easy going. I've just learned how to read Scott and deal with his idiosyncrasies, that's all. Like all the equipment malfunctions we've been experiencing. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, as for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Pretty much everything he says in there, I can hear out here. He's not exactly a low talker. The chart with all the siren stuff is in the living room, and that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the kit. If any items are missing, you can go to Mon Ooh, the, the quiz. Up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget is very limited. And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished the filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Fix the... Sprinkler system? See, this farm Such an errand girl. that sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I better turn it in. Wow, there must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Job, thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. Sure. When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? Theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season... They're trying to be like a Grange good influence. Be like, turn in the money that we found. It's obviously not ours. And soon became the sound and lighting director as well. Which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm there. It sounds like you keep pretty busy. You don't even know the half of it. We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. I better get to work. Okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. Let's let's try to take a stab at this freaking filing cabinet. S is immediately next to R. This is to the right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's just start with this. S is next to R. 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. And this is immediately next to R. This is... Jesus Christ. Is to the left of this. Is next to R. Is next to dot. Is my um. All right, it's a me. Hmm. No, that's not right. Yeah. Well, let me fucking figure it out. Okay. So S is immediately next to R. This. Is to the left of that. <sighs> oh, Jesus. This is to the left of this. Wait, okay. That is to the right of that is next to that. Dot is to the left of that. Did I do it? Did I do it? I still need that filing finished. I'll just it's not done. Have fun. She didn't say anything. Fuck. Okay. Let's just let's just say okay, so is immediately next to the dot. Right? Is immediately to the like is immediately to the right of this. the fuck? Okay. So immediately to the right of that dot Okay, the dots. Oh my god. Hmm, no, that's not right. The S is between S and three dots. An R. I, I'm trying to figure it out without, like, writing it on paper. Okay, so... This... Is to the... Right... Of that. Right. And this... Is to the left. Okay. And that is next to the dot. Ah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Let me see. So it's next to the R. Is to the left that is next to R.
<laughs> yeah. Um, I always, like, use, like, paper or something. I'm gonna, like, write on the back of something. Um. Oh, here's a notebook. I can use this. Okay. So, S is next to R. And the dot is left of the three dots. Um, I, I don't know if it's easier to write it or do it in the game. Okay, so the weird tree thing is immediately next to the dot. So I have that. Is immediately next to that. Dot. This doesn't seem right. So immediately next to the dot, and this is immediately next to this dot. Um, <sighs> so immediately next to the dot, this is to the left. Is it okay? Immediately next to the dot. All right, got it. Oh, that was a total guess. So let me see. Okay, so this is to that is to the right. So they they didn't have to be directly next to each other. I just figured it out somehow. Can I not like turn? Do I have to like really make this that I difficult? I still need that filing finished. I better get to work. Have fun. Didn't I like just do it? Oh. This doesn't seem right. Do I know? Why do I not know? This doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem right. Oh, they have the things on them. I see. This is a dot. This is the thing above. This is the this thing. This is this thing. This is that thing. S and Hmm. Looks like garbage. Don't need this. Corn bag. Ew, why is there here? I've been seeing more and more of them. Well there's shit on the floor. Jeez. What's up? Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in the wastebasket over there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here. They look a lot more man made than mouse made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? I guess it does sound pretty dumb, doesn't it? Everyone on this team has his quirks, that is for sure. But deliberately causing a mouse infestation? Nobody's that mental. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Yeah, I'm having a freaking blast. At least I finished that freaking nightmare. Okay, so the disaster kit. Okay, it contains essential supplies in case of emergency. Get my little notebook out because, you know, I, I write notes. Okay, disaster kit. I need a pen that fucking works. Okay, let's see here. Here's a pen. Okay. Uh, first aid kit, water, sugar, salt, granola bar, batteries, flashlight, a can opener, 
toothpaste, duct tape, and bleach. Okie dokie. Let's talk to this I'm guy frosty. again. As you can probably tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital. We get to Analog. listen to those guys' freaking long ass story it again. Darn well too. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more. Just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls. And the wind was blowing and the car was swaying. And then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized, then all of a sudden, the windshield shatters, and a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap, then another, then another. Turns out, I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd punched the what of the who? <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. What happened to your arm? What, these scratches? Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some mammatus clouds. And what happens? I dropped my camera bag right into a patch of brambles. Thorns just about took my arm off when I went to grab it. How long have you worked for Scott? I joined the team last year after their photographer quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. Thanks for all the advice. See ya. He probably is. He's sort of weird. Like... I don't know. I don't. It feels like we don't have anything in there. Hello, Nancy. Remember that interview you gave after Ma died? Nope. Why do you ask? I read it, and it seems like a lot has changed for you over the last few years. What's that supposed to mean? You seemed more concerned about the people in the path of the storms. More concerned? What exactly are you implying, Nancy? Everything you said in the article, it seemed like you genuinely Ooh. cared about the safety of everyone in Tornado Alley. And you don't think I do now? I'm sorry I don't still wear my heart on my sleeve, but that's a very amateur thing for a scientist to do. Do you feel guilty that you didn't put out the alert in time during the storm that killed Ma? What kind of a question is that to ask? Yes, of course I am. You'd be too, but does that mean it's my fault? No, it doesn't. What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the costs of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. I'll quit bugging you now. Whatever. Whatever.
All right. Whoever just came in, give me a hand over here, would you? Uh, sure. Save me a lot of time if you kindly fix the LED display on the dash while I fix the wiring out here. But I've never fixed an LED display before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. What y'all looking at is the fuse board for the screen. The fuse are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. Oh you boy. Number from one to eight? Yeah. What you gotta do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Including diagonals? Yep. Fuse number one can't be touching fuse number two, which can't be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Got that? I think so. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. With any luck, I'll oh, be done God. at the same time. Um. So one, two. One, one, two, three, four, five, oh. One, two, three, four. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Sit. What did I do wrong? The one, two, three, four. Fuck. So one, two, three, four, five. Sit. Jesus Christ. Sick. Um. God. Why is this ho so hard? Six and two. So one, two, now two, now two and four. So one, two, I probably fucked this up, huh? <laughs> okay, um. Uh, let me try. I think I'll do this later. That's disappointing, but 
What can I say? Let me try let me try it one more time. I'm going to give those fuses another shot. I want to I've heard all day. I want to re retry. <laughs> Reset it. Oh, I remember how to do this. Okay. So let's put 8 here and the 2 down here. So it's 1 2 So one, two, three, four. And then so one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? So one, two, three, right, four. Oh, shit. This didn't work either. So one, two, three. Uh. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, seven. I don't know. So one. Maybe if they go like sep separate direction. So like. So it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then five, seven, eight, six. Um, or five, six. One, two, three, four. Uh, I thought that for sure would work. No. Man, this is hard. Why is it so hard? Okay, so that's one, two. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, eight, two, seven. One, three, four. One, two. Four. Jesus Christ. One, eight. One, two. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Huh. Gee, <laughs> why, why is this so hard? Okay. So it's one. So one, two, three. <sighs> okay, so it's one. I don't understand why this has to be so difficult. <laughs> Jeez! That was one, two, three. Wow, they're next to each other. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Six. One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, okay, I did the it. Screen says it's initializing. And I'm done out here. How's that for timing? You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Chase. Maybe he's the I rat guy. Kind of a mess. Again, I appreciate the help. What do you do on the team? Right now, I'm fixing the car the fella you were placing was driving when he busted I fucking today. did it, it's guys. My job did stuff. it. That okay with you? Yep. <laughs> fixing stuff. And I like keeping busy. So this here is the perfect job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about Twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Is that why they call you Chase? Because you chase tornadoes. Thank you. I really appreciate they call it. You Nancy because you Nancy too many questions. Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. It has been since before the day I was born. Why do you think so much equipment has been malfunctioning? I'm trying not to cheat. I may have to Google how to drive though, because I could figure out how to drive and they could tell me. Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wasn't breaking down all the time. Is it Nancy Drew? How to drive.
Yancy drew driving controls. <laughs> Okay, well, nothing's freaking helping me, so maybe it's like the mouse. The guy I'm replacing, what was the matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze, should I say coolant. And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Ooh, the mice. Have mice done anything like that before? It's all coming oh together kid, now. I saw a mouse chew clean through a two by four in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. But I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never ridden bull in a bucking shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together, I like him fine. Got this. Six cents when it comes to twisters. Never see nothing like it. Kinda spooky sometimes. Think he'll win the Green Skies competition? Ooh. Damn. Ask him who he doesn't he got this like. Real negative way about him. Nothing good's ever gonna come his way. Sad but true. Will it bother you if his team doesn't win? Heck yeah. I'd like to win. It's gonna bother me a lot. But as long as you got Scott for a leader, ain't no way. I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. Can I help you with something? This place could really use a cat. Uh, you're telling me we don't have anything around here that can go into the kit? Oh no. <gasps> oh, I did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I figured out how to drive. This one has the GPS in it. So. Uh, GPS. <laughs> so we're at the farmhouse, and I want to go to Ma and Pause. So I'm going up and to the right. Hey! I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I drove. <laughs> I take it your paw. I take it your paw. That's me. That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as. Pa. But I tell you something most of them don't know. That it's not your real name. Why well, you, Miss Smarty Boots? <laughs> I tried. North of I tried my best. From the That's how I drive IRL too. <laughs> not bad. You know that. Every time I drive with you, I'm like awful. I have no cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's five two three five 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 four three nine nine. How do you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. 
See, if something bad <laughs> out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay connected. I'm a great driver. I just, like, for some reason, central. when I drive with you, I get freaking wacko. Just like when I drove with you and we ran all those freaking stoplights in St. Louis. We bring out the worst in each other. Don't things work the way they normally do in stores? We are gonna oh, talk. <laughs> I've got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash Shh. and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section? You gotta pay for it using pa pennies. Using mm. what? Pa pennies. Like pa here. pennies. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. In fact, go ahead and take it. You could use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Just a mom pa way of saying nice to meet you. Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet. And all you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. So what's this play about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle, town chef and area's first librarian. Back in those days, it wasn't no small thing to return a book late. That sounds interesting. Gonna be. If you're not out chasing Twisters open at night, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. So mm. do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I have heard tell of. Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. Even if they're doing it so someday they'll be able to predict where and when a tornado's going to hit? If somebody find a way to do that, know what they do next? Charge admission. Because there's nothing else you can do. You warn everybody it's coming, and you just watch. You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it. Because it's just gone. All you can do is stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. What else you need? Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just gonna say the same thing. Y'all take care now. I need some salt. Need some sugar. I got my salt and my sugar. Need a granola bar. Some toothpaste. Oh man, this is two dollars off the mark price, thirty percent. 
What's 30% of $6? <laughs> no, this one's less. Okay. Um, Alright, so I got the batteries and a flashlight and the toothpaste. Buy two blue items. Oh no. <laughs> I have the duct tape, the <laughs> bleed. The remaining budget. So that's the water. I need a bleach. I So I got the bleach. I think I've got everything I need. Does this look about right? No, ma'am. Hmm, looks like I don't have enough money. I should figure out a way to get everything I need without going on the budget. <sighs> let's... Let's just return all of it, okay? Okay. So, I think this is the only granola bar. And it's a blue tag. So, I got the granola bar. It says buy two different blue tag items. Get a different blue tag item. So that's a blue. And I have the. T I think that's the only one for the toothpaste. So. Okay, so buy two different. So I got a flashlight, it was also blue. So I got the flashlight and the granola bar. This is this is still cheaper. So I got the batteries. And the duct tape is also blue.
I'll take I'll take the water to yellow. And the can openers yellow. So I just need the the bleach, the sugar, and the salt. Okay, so the, sh the sugar is green, and the, s the salt is also green. So... I think that's all I need. Bleach. I think I've got everything I need. Can Look I get the supplies now? I suppose so. Thanks. There, I did it. Hey. I stayed within budget. I made it. <laughs> okay. I fucking did it. That ought to do it. I finished that disaster kit for Scott. Nice job. I'm supposed to remind you to check in with Debbie. She might need you to do something else. Will do. I did it. I, I bought groceries. What's up? I better get to work. Have fun. All right. Well, apparently she didn't need me for anything. <sighs> oh, boy. Not be in the same row. Ugh. To manually reset open six valves to show the blue active status open valves cannot be in the same row, column, or diagonal line. Let's see.
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm so good. Fucking did it. Are you still there, Caitlin? I need to fucking go to bed him. Oh. So I fix I export That's the button. Done. Did that. That's done. That's done. Check. That's done. Did that. So I only have these six to do. Okay. Alrighty. That seems okay. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I like gotta make sure like every single thing is freaking so Yeah, it already feels like a pain in the butt. Fuck. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I'm sure they have to overlap in some way.
Ugh. What the hell? I don't know what it wants me to do. Phone. Can't use my cell phone here. What does the range? This is really just keep an eye. This one has to be here. Like, I'm pretty sure it has to envelope everything. It's like, no... No patches. I don't know how this... How this helps me. <laughs>
<laughs> it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's late, Nancy. Go to bed. What's going on? Guess I'll get going. Whatever. Okay, bye. Go to bed. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. Any chance to show off? I better get to work. Have fun! Something else? Sorry, just go on back to work. Get to bed. Get to bed. Hello, Nancy. I'll quit bugging you now. Fine by me. That's not good enough for you. Jeez. Uh, I'm just gonna clear it because, like, I don't trust in nothing. It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the blue sensor. Oh boy, my my favorite type of puzzle. So I did that. That looks right. Yay, I did it. No. That wasn't that bad. At Canute. As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. Ooh. You're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. I knew something sketch was happening. Hello? Grohlmeister here. This Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. Now, Indy, just when were you planning on bringing me up to speed on all the goings-on out there in Tornado Alley? Sorry, I meant to call. Actually, this isn't the best time. Well, that's no excuse. In fact, it's all the more reason to call me and keep me up to the latest on all the happenings going on out there. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. You had better, Indy. I've got my hands full down here at the warehouse. I don't have time to follow up. You're gonna get me in trouble, bro. There, all right. But now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little hard to read. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. It might be because he wants it that way, but there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect? Right. Well, good. Don't hold back. Tell me everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutter bug? Frosty, is it? He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Plotting? 
How so? Well, I overheard them talking. They were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge, and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. Oh no. Did that. Haven't done that. Does it like matter how I how I arrange it? Can I just like you know? Still have to do that. Ugh. Well, I don't understand. I'm just gonna. L I'm honestly just gonna cheat on this one. <laughs> Trail of the Twister. Um. Siren chart. Cause I don't. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a cheater. I I don't care. It's a little red one. It like gave me really no like I feel like I would have gotten it at one point, but it would have just been me like playing around with it forever. And this is the other blue one. See, I knew this big purple one was, or pink one was there. All right, that's how it should look. Oh, that's not what I freaking wanted. Did that. No, I gotta select a vehicle. This isn't the right car. Not this one. Don't forget me. Here we go. Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. Fraser Creek Windmill. So that.
Oh. Windmill. So, down. <laughs> All right. Cross the intersection down. <laughs> you hear me like you gas. the shots you need to take. When we get some good photos, let's take some photos. No. <laughs> it's like not what I wanted to do. Menu. Camera. Yeah. Gotta keep a sharp eye out or you'll miss what's right in front of you. I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. That's a good one. That's the idea. Keep trying. He didn't like that one. That's a good one. Apparently, he liked that one. Okay, so... Roll a scud. Sh a shelf. Upload cloud photos. That's done. All right, feel like we did just fine. All right, so up into the left and keep going. I think, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna figure out this map. So what's up? How do I download the photos? Easy. Just plug the camera into the computer and do what it says. Then if you give me a little time, I'll organize everything into folders. I need to get going. Pop in any time. I get to use this one. Camera. I need to connect my phone first. Camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> download. 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 Download.
Check. All right, I got to go to Paws Museum. Time to call it a day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll wow. thing in the morning. Wow. It's already nighttime. It's been such a long day. This is a broadcast of the oh, emergency notification system. Oh no. Multiple reports of a tornado touchdown in the area. All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Oh the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there. Right? Hello? Who's there? Hello? I better look into that in the morning. What the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty? Those two can sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got noticed that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn. But you're gonna have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. Got it. Great. Thank you so much. I do it myself, but I'm buried in work right now. You're a lifesaver. Literally. Making me freaking do all the work. Nancy, hi. Look, um, Debbie tells me it would be good for morale if I gave people around here a few attaboys every now and then. So I just wanted to say you did a um, pretty fair job driving during the chase yesterday. Thank you. Well, let's not get cocky. I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, when you're driving in a steady downpour, you should always... Ah! Did you see that? Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere, and I'm sick of it. So if you were wondering what your next job was going to be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. Maybe you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Mon Pa store. Just get it done, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? Hey there. I'm supposed to relocate those prairie dogs. How do I do that without hurting them? By using a handy dandy prairie dog vacuum I just invented. Won't hurt one single hair on their fur little heads. Well, ma'am. At least it won't after I replace this tube with a bigger one. How soon are you supposed to move them? By the end of the day. Well, then get yourself over to Ma and Paul. Uh. Get this tube in for one that's a bigger size. I'll set you up as soon as you get back. Great, thanks. Anything else on your mind? Do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what, over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now since I can't <laughs> vacuum for the prairie right. dogs. <laughs> How about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in paw pennies. Of course, since wiring them wrong just makes more work for me, you make too many mistakes and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Depending on how you did. What do you say? Sounds great. Like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there. And He's my favorite, I think. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything else on your mind? I'll let you go. Bye now. So, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna know how to get there very quickly, I feel like. <laughs> I totally cut that guy off. Check. Did that. <laughs> What's going on there, Nancy? I need a mousetrap that will allow me to catch mice instead of kill them. Do you sell anything like that? Sure don't. But well, just so happens I got something like that. Right over there in the museum. I'll even let you borrow it. As long as you do a little something for me first. <laughs> Always a catch. You can update the tornado display I got set up over there. Just move the stuff on it around till it compares the old Vegeta way of saying how bad a twister is. You know, F1, F2, F3 and such. Until it correctly compares that scale to the new one. You know, that's what you scale. <laughs> She's F1, 18, she can't drink F3 yet. And the, like. the scale they switched over to a couple years back. You might have to do a little reading, but you can do that for me in return for the mousetrap, right? No problem. Had a girl. Done with that Vegeta scale display? To be honest, I haven't even started it. So what you need? I was just wondering, where's the ma part of Mon? We know she died. Ma? Oh, she's around. And, you know, running errands and such. Just Nancy, why would you ask that? I need a bigger tube for a vacuum. Chase is building for me. Can you help me out? Sure, as long as you do a little something for me. What's that? Head on the snack out. Gotta the display. I got do the all his frickin' displays. Sure. Have a good day. <laughs> see you soon. Oh, I see. Was it? Okay, let's see here. Fuck, I did something wrong.
Ha. Huh. How the fuck is this supposed to fit?
I don't want to cheat. Even though I already cheated. Uh, it looked like I was getting there. If you could see my face right now, I'm just like <laughs> staring at this like what the hell. So like something is up with Goes like this. And then I'm left with like this thing. Like, I feel like I'm getting somewhere, and then I don't. <laughs> Why? Like, is there any way to, like, avoid? <laughs> ah, it's so frustrating.
Hmm. Ooh, am I on to something? Ugh. Gets worse. It just gets worse. Every time. No matter what I do. <sighs> how much how much longer should I do this before I cheat? I feel like I've put in my work. Five minutes. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate it so much. Yeah, and just night not thinking about it the right way. Ugh. No, maybe, maybe this is what I should be doing. It's like this licky poo thing, and then... Like, this this thing is the thing- Oh! No. 
I thought I had it for a second. Maybe I still do. I'm like so excited for a second. It was all like false hope. <laughs> I hate it. Like I, I know I keep doing this. I know it's like not right. This feels close. Like, look how freaking close I get. Like, I just don't really know what I'm doing wrong. Like, this looks great till... Like, <laughs> so close, yet so far. Like, <laughs> alright, I'm looking, I'm looking it up now. I've, I've done my best. I'm about to feel like super stupid. Let me reset it. Well, actually this one was in the right spot. And this one was in the... A 
Apparently, you can rotate them. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you can rotate it. <laughs> I fucking hate my life. Ah. <sighs> Oh boy. <laughs> um Right, like this looks... This is worse. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> like, this is right. Fastest one quarter mile wind speed. Like... There's just so many numbers here. I feel like I should be, um... I should go look at the, uh, computer quiz. I don't even know r really where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, gotta look at the computer and take some notes. Okay. Fujita scale to F scale.
F zero is forty five to seventy eight, and then F five two sixty two to three seventeen. I thought there would be more. What's up? I need to get going. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor and give this to Chase for me. I borrowed it from him. Keep forgetting to return it. Sure. Thanks, Nancy. You're the bomb. I know. I feel like there's gotta be some What's up? I better get to work. Have fun! There's gotta be like some hint. Next week on the season finale of I tried. Uh, the cell phone. I don't know. I, I attempted. Oh, okay. All right. So the EF zero um, was sixty five to eighty five, and the one is eighty six to one ten. The two is more than one thirty five and one thirty six. To 165, 166 to 200, and 201 plus. I want those mice removed now. All right. All right, let's try. Cutting people off is my specialty. <sighs> All righty. So it's six, what is it, sixty five to eighty five? And then eighty six to one ten, one eleven to one thirty five, one thirty six to one sixty five. 166 to 200 
and this is 201. And then that's 45 to 78, and that was 2, 262, 217. So I would assume 79 to 117, and then 118, 161, 162 to 209, 210. <laughs> Look at me go. Look at me. I'm so smart. I got, I did this on my own. It didn't, it didn't. Uh. What did I do wrong? <laughs> did I, did I do something wrong with? Done with that Vegeta scale display? You tell me. Well, this time when I peeked, you made a mistake in the wind speed column. Sorry, no mousetrap for you, not yet. I think the wind the speed display. a girl, here. Thanks. The wind speed. Are these like flip flop? Uh, that's forty five to seventy eight, two six two two ten. Done with that Vegeta scale display? You tell me. Well, this time when I peeked, them pictures still weren't quite right. The pictures. Yes, yes, just keep trying. I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. The pictures. Well, the house is gone in this one. I did it. Talking up again so soon? Are you just back cuz you missed me? A little of a. I did it on my own. Well, go ahead. What's the word out here this week? Don't keep me in suspense. It's uh, been uh, nothing special to report now, I guess. Nothing to report? Nothing at all? Who the fuck is Brooke? All right? Yeah, oh, sure. It's been a slow week, all. Not even any good gossip about Scott's team? Any new blunders I can take back to the guy? I know it can't be smooth sailing over there these days. I mean, come on. No, no, no. Uh, very smooth sailing with Scott's team is what I always say, but uh, just remember, I, I got a lot to do in the store. Better get to that. You just grab anything you need now. Take some candy on the way out. He, like, knows I'm here and doesn't want to okay. talk. Okay. See you around, I guess.
Well, congratulations, Nancy. From what I've seen, you got that Vegeta display set up just perfect. So go ahead and help yourself to that mousetrap. Y'all earned it. Where's the mousetrap? Something else I can do you for? Good seeing you again. Stop by anytime. Where's the mousetrap? <laughs> Is like not giving it to me? It looks like it won't accept paw pennies. Am I like missing something? Do you know where I'm supposed to get these mouse traps? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there, Nancy? Who was that woman asking all of those questions about Scott? Ah. Now I'm not one to talk bad about people around here. But that was Brooke. She ends up the other team of chasers. Maybe you heard of her. Is she always so interested in our team? You'd think y'all were just about the only thing worth babbling on about her, the whole state from the way she's asking questions. Really? What does she ask about? Anything and everything. But mostly she wants to know about any accidents y'all been having lately. She was really nosy. Not nosy, just... All right, nosy. But she and Scott are just so much alike. Guess it makes sense they'd always be checking up on each other. Scott comes in here asking about her? Oh, without a doubt. Where's Ma? Still not here? <laughs> nope. Uh, she, uh, she had to drive over to Chickasha. The Lumbago. The Lumbago's acting up. Anything else I can help you with? I'll let you get back to work. See you soon. Like, he didn't give it to me. Yeah, I thought I I thought I checked. Check this. Did that. Check. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Can't Fine. check that off yet. 
Yeah, I don't have it yet. So, like, help yourself to the mouse trap. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. <laughs> What's going on there, Nancy? I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. Like, I think I've looked at everything in here. Is it something in here? Oh. The divining rod that's supposed to be here seems to be missing. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I didn't I didn't even look at Oh. I I am sorry. <laughs> I didn't even look at the chat. I just like was clicking on everything in there. Who is he talking to? How come something that makes such a mess be worth so much money? I'm never gonna get this stuff out. These are my best boots, dang it! Get out! That was a little weird. Hey there. I went to pause and got a bigger tube for that prairie dog vacuum. This okay? Well, let's find out. There you go. One handed dandy prairie dog vacuum. How does it work? You just turn it on, stick the tube in the hole, and all the critters in the burrows going to that hole be sucked into the bag. That sounds a little rough. Are you sure they're going to be okay? Of course they will. Built this baby here with safety in mind. That's why it's so ugly. Now, don't forget, if there ain't any critters in the burrows going to that hole, You'll lose suction in some of the ones that you've caught will escape. You gotta make sure you catch all of them before you move them. Okay. Just keep at it and you'll do fine. There's some paw pennies in if you remember to bring this back when you're done. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. Prairie Dog's life is rough enough as it is. Anything else on your mind? Frosty asked me to return this to you. Thanks. Does he borrow stuff from you a lot? Hardly ever. Him and me don't exactly have a ton of stuff in common. He's the outgoing, sophisticated type, and I'm just a simple country boy. Won't let me forget it, neither. What's Debbie's relationship to Frosty like? Well, I always figured she didn't have much use for him. But you know, lately, seems like she and him been hanging out with each other a lot. Nothing romantic or anything like that, just, you know, talking. Sure don't know about what. I'd better get going. All righty then.
like it. Why? They keep like rolling, running back. Right. Hey there. Oh, uh, I have to f like fill Any it up. Else? I can't just like dump them off. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. No! Oh my god, they like... Ugh. They are like all running away. Why are they like escape? Ugh. Why? What, why is that happening? Why do they run back in the hole? I'm just trying to, like, save you. Ugh. 
Ugh. Ugh, they went back in. I made a mistake. I get so close. Oh, I got them all. That was way more complicated than it needed to be. I bet I can find a new home for the prairie dogs right around here. I should look for somewhere to relocate these prairie dogs. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Huh? Looks like the perfect new home for the prairie dogs. I better empty out the vacuum here. Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. Hey there. I'm all done with the prairie dog vacuum. Here you go. All righty then. Anything else on your mind? That's it for now. All righty then. You're back, and you've got a trap. Good. The mice seem to hang out a lot by the wall. Try putting it there. Just don't leave till you've caught them. All of them. I don't think they like that. What do you mean they don't like that? I 
I don't think they like that. What do you mean? I don't think they like that. What do I... The fuck... The fuck you mean? I'm still seeing mice in here, Nancy. Oh... Don't tell me I have to freaking go back to the store. What's going on there, Nancy? Did you know the divining rod that's supposed to be on display in your museum is missing? Missing? Why, I had no idea. How do you like that? Somebody must have took it. Why would somebody take it? Well, now that's a good question. Only thing it's good for is finding all. That's pretty much just a superstition. For most folks, that is. Some people around these parts still swear up and down divine and rods work. Well, guess I'm just gonna have to whittle me up a fake one and stick it in the display. Just be our little secret, okay? If you had to catch some mice, what would you use for bait? Got yourself an infestation over there, huh? <laughs> well, whether you want to catch them or do some little more permanent to them. In my experience, nothing gets those critters' attention faster than the smell of cheese. Do you have anything for sale in here that smells like cheese? <sighs> Head over to the snack aisle and pick up a moon chunk. It smells so cheesy you could swear you're in Wisconsin. I've enjoyed talking to you. Y'all hurry back. Something else I can do you for? Want some candy? Uh, you offering me some of my own candy there now? Sure am. That's real nice and all, but between you and me, I can't stand the new stuff on the market these days. Too sweet. Give me clove bark snappers any day. Or Dr. Bellaton's reconstituted rhubarb cordials. Now those will can is worth saving your pennies for. I'll let you get back to work. Don't let them canutes work you too hard. So, it's in my inventory? Just can't stay away, huh? I'll let you get back to work. See you soon! Yeah, I know. I'd better make sure to fill all of the traps. How many of those things are there?
Oh my god. No! Did I... Get rid of the mice, then we'll talk. Did I... What did I... I have to get more? What did I do wrong? He's gonna get sick of me. No. That costs too much. <gasps> that costs too much. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. What do you mean it costs too much? That's out of my price range. Did I fuck up? <laughs> right? It's for like- it's a game for like teens. <laughs> Get rid of the mice, then we'll talk. <sighs> I don't think they like that. Mm. No. Haven't done that. Check. Did that. Check. That's done. <sighs> what do I do? I don't have any more candy. What's up? I better get to work. Have fun. No. One forty six AM.
Let's see. Let's let's see. Do I have the cheese? I don't. Here. Do you know why someone would want to lure mice into their house? Is this one of those sound of one tree clapping in the woods questions? Never was much good at those. No. Wire me some money. Luring mice into the house. Hmm. Sounds like you've got a reverse Pied Piper situation. What's that? Who knows? Just made it up. <laughs> I'd keep an eye out for something like that, though. And get a cat. I was wondering, why are you so concerned about tornadoes? You must have a lot of other things to worry about. Truth is, I never have been one to worry, but darned if these storms don't have my socks twisted in a bunch, something serious. 